welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Um, this look was inspired by some nail wraps. I don't have them on today, but from last video, um, it was sort of like this feather with turquoise and gold and pink, and I just decided to use the stuff that I have here um, in my own makeup collection to recreate this look. And also, it's very colorful, so I feel like it's perfect for spring. Thanks for watching, guys, and let's get started. I'm going to begin by taking an eyeshadow primer. This is the Shadow Insurance from Too Faced. And I'm using this because we are going to use the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. But I don't want it to crease. And if you don't wear anything underneath the Jumbo Pencil, then it is going to crease. Or if you have an eyeshadow primer that's very opaque, that can make your colors intensify even more, that would be great. You can just do that. So I'm just going to apply this to the top lid all the way to my eyebrow. So next I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. And I'm going to start off by putting some on the eyelid. And then just with my ring finger, I'm just going to start by blending it all the way up. The same area where I applied the primer. The next color that we're using is from the Naked palette, the original one, and if you have the color half baked by itself or in another palette, or if you just have like a gold eyeshadow that's really intense, then you just want to take um, a flat shader brush and go into this color. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors from um, Urban Decay. And then this color is going to go starting from the lash line. And it's going to go all the way up to where you feel the crease. The next color we're taking is a soft matte brown color. This is great for the crease. Also, if you want to um, do your eyebrows with that color, it's really nice. So I am going to take this brush, which is uh, Ricky's Paint Brush number 17. And I got it in New York City. And I'm going to take this color. This is going to be like our transitional color. So you just want to place this on the crease and also on the brow bone because this is the color that you can slightly see above the pink. The next color is a really bright pink and I have this palette from Sugar Pill. The color is called Dolly Pop which is a really bright intense pink and I'm taking a pencil brush. This is the Smoky Liner brush from Sephora and you want to dip it in there. This color is so intense, that's why um, I wanted to use this color. And you want to apply this to the outer edge, like that. And then also on the crease. You don't want to put it on the brow bone just yet, because what I'm going to do is actually blend that color from the crease and on the outer V onto the brow bone. That way it's not so, so much pink, you know? It looks a little bit more soft. And then just take a fluffy blending brush. This one is just from e.l.f. And just start to work that color and smoke it out. Try not to extend it too much outwards. So just keep it here. Blend out the edge and then just drag it in. So now that we're going to work on the bottom color, the first thing I'm going to do is take this eyeliner from L'Oreal. And this is in sea green. So just take a green or teal eyeliner and then just start by tracing that across the lash line. The next color is a pigment. This is by Bella Pierre Cosmetics and I got this little stack at iMats and it has this really beautiful teal turquoise color. So I am just going to take an angled brush. This is from um, e.l.f. and just start by patting this color right on top of the eyeliner like that. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush and just drag that so it's nice and smoky. I am going to line my top lid. This is just the Linear Intense from L'Oreal in black. So just take a liquid eyeliner or if you have a cream liner that would be cool as well. And I'm going to slightly wing it out like this. I'm going to take this eye shading E55 from Sigma and then go into this white shadow and just very lightly just put this on the highest part of my eyebrow. 
not all the way across, just right at the peak. Um, next, I'm going to take my Clinique Black uh, Lower Lash Mascara, and I'm going to start by applying this to my lower lashes very carefully without touching the bottom like I just did. And now I'm just adding some black mascara. This is the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. The lashes that I'm using today are the Demi uh, 120 in black. So they start very small and then they sort of flare out. And I thought these would look really pretty with these. I'm going to work on my eyebrows. This is the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia. And I'm going to take an angled brush, this one here. And I'm going to just start by dipping this slightly into here. And then trying to shape this eyebrow like this one here. And I like this product because my eyebrows actually look brown, not black. So they match my hair a little bit more right now since I have, you know, ombre hair and stuff. So I am just going to shape this to my best ability. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is just take my uh, bronzing primer, this one is by Victoria's Secret, and it's just going to give my face a little bit of color because it's looking kind of yellow. I'm just going to take this and apply it to my face, it's going to bring color, and it's so soft, it also has like this luminous effect. See this is the color that I should be, you know like a golden brown or something. Not yellow. Now that I have that on my face, um, the foundation that I'm taking is this oil-free makeup uh, from Clinique. And I am the color beige. And I'm going to take this first with my finger and then just dot it on my face. Like that. And I am going to take this foundation brush, which is the Define Buffer. And then just buff that into my skin. This is just for my forehead. And I'm just going to finish applying my foundation. I am really loving this product, guys. This is awesome. I should have included that in my favorites as well. Or actually, I might do that in the next month's favorites. Anyways, so I'm going to sort of conceal and also brighten up this under eye section. I feel like if you're wearing a lot of shadow like me, it's very important to wear a, a concealer that's really going to make it pop even more. So you want everything to be nice and hidden for this look. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take my Flower Beauty BB Cream. Now, since it is a BB Cream and not a concealer, um, you have to be very careful with how you apply this. So when you put it on, you want to pat it away. And you can take a beauty blender that's nice and damp. And then just pat this away without disturbing the bottom colors of the eyelash or the eyelid or the lower lash line. Since it is a BB cream, you do have to treat it differently and you definitely have to set it with the powder that's going to make sure that the or the BB cream doesn't move around um, because the BB cream is very light. You know, it's meant to be used as an all over face product, but when you really condense the amount of product that you're using in one area, you have to make sure that you powder it really well. Because if not, it's it's going to just like bleed out, you know? Um, so the powder that I'm using is the Banana Yellow Powder from Ben Nye. And I'm just going to take a wedge. I just leave a wedge in here. And this is just going to be powdered down below like that. And this powder is so awesome because it really it obtains that yellow color when you dust it off. And it also instantly settles into the product, so you can feel right away how that product is not going to move. I kind of feel like a little stiff. 
you just want to dust it off. You can see that yellow tone in here and it looks so beautiful. And then whatever's left, you can just dust this, you know, anywhere else on the face. Now for my cheeks, what I'm going to use is this Milani bronzer. This is a baked bronzer and I just picked this up the other day at CVS. Now I know it looks a little bit intense right now, but I'm going to tone it down. I just wanted to use it as a contour first. So I like to, you know, overdo it a little bit first, but then I'll take a bigger brush and then blend it out. And it's just the perfect amount. It sort of diffuses the color outwards. And you know how I added a lot of contour first? It's going to stay darker in the middle. For my lips, I'm going to take um, this color, which is called Natural by NYX. It's a lip liner. Very popular color, and I can see why. It's like a must-have. This is such a great color. Because I always tend to do it right below, but if you do it on top, it makes your lips even bigger. So if you have thin lips or you want to accentuate one part, for example, like at the bottom here, just do it right at the bottom. On the outside of the lip line instead of the inside. We'll make sure it's a straight line. And then I'm going to go in with my Whitening Lightning um, Lip Gloss in Nude this one here and I have all of the lip swatches on my blog post if you guys want to see like how they look on the lips this one is really creamy and buttery they're all creamy and buttery but this one in particular because it doesn't have shimmer it's just glossy it's beautiful